This program was built using Visual Studio 2017 C++ and the database was built using SQL Compact. To get started, we can log in either under the, the, pro, the profile admin or profile user. In this case, we will use profile admin. When you log in, you will see in the lower right hand corner, you will see what you are logged in as and what your role is. In, your, in the lower left hand corner, you will see the date and time for the current day. The difference between the user profile and the admin profile is that the user profile will only see the product tab and the exit tab. Only the admin will get all three tabs. Under the, pro the product tab, we have two options. We have either the shopping cart or the product inventory. In the shopping cart, on the left we have the catalog and on the right we have the cart, the actual cart itself and the checkout. Under the catalog, we have the products, the search, and the pages. Inside the product, we have the product ID, the product name, and the product's price. If you would, if you would want to add a product, you can hit the green plus, which will add it to the cart and will tell you the, your transaction number. When you add, if you would add, like to add more than one, you can hit this again and this will increase the quantity and the price in the tab. This will also increase the price right here. If you would want to search for a product, you can hit, you can go into the search bar, search for a product, hit the magnifying glass, and it will automatically show you the product. If you would want to return to the home page of the catalog, you can hit the clean up button, which will also clear out your cart too. Let's say if you were want to if you would want to buy all of this, if you want to check out, you can hit you can either print, which will print exactly as seen in your cart, your total transaction, and what and who it was made by. Now if you save it, this will save automatically into the system. If you are buying an item and it if you if, if there's only one stock left, it will show you a warning that there's that this product is low in stock. You can delete the product in the cart by hitting the X button, which will remove it from your cart. Onto the product inventory, this will show you a variety of things. On the left, it will show you all of your products, and on the right, it will show you your edit screen. You can either remove your product by hitting the X button, which would delete it completely. You can edit it using the pencil, which will bring you to this page. Or you can put the product on low stock, which will, which will if, if you put uh, your product on low stock, Let's say we want to put lemon tea on low stock. It will not show in your in your shopping cart catalog whatsoever. It will also show in your dashboard in advanced that it is on low stock. Going back to product inventory, when you you can edit by hitting the pencil marker, you can rename it whatever you would want. You can set the, you can set your product quantity. It is not in low stock, so we can leave that unchecked. And you can set the price. You can also upload an image which will bring you to your pictures folder and you can select an image to save the, your product you can hit the update button which will save it to make a new product you can hit new name the product set the quantity 
the price and you can upload a picture then you can hit save and your item should add down here this will this is this acts as a a page so this is page one and you can go on to the next page which will bring it to page two and here is our newly made product under the dashboard which only admin can see you will see a variety of data you see the today's sales this week's sales this month's sales this yearly sales transactions in advance under today's sales in the bar graph you will see what how what item has been sold the most to uh, on the on the current day on the left you will see a line graph which will show you your income that you have made uh, on on the current day so from eight we've made around sixty four dollars to nine we've made one hundred ninety one point nine dollars up in the corner we will see the total revenue that we've made all together S same goes for this week's sales on the left we have the bar graph which will show how m uh, the most or yeah the most products that's been sold in the week and on the left we will show the line graph which will show us the income that we've made throughout the week this applies to month as well, except it is now month, how much product has been sold inside this month. And on the bottom, we will have the line graph showing our, our income made throughout the month. Same goes for the year sales. The top, the top we have the bar graph showing the products, uh, most products sold in the year. And on the bottom, we have our uh, income made throughout the year. In transactions, on the left we will see a bar graph showing which user has made the most, which which, which user has uh, made the most sales, and on the left we will have a line graph showing which user has made um, the most mo uh, money. Up here we will show it will show the total amount of revenue earned from all users. Under advanced, we will have on the left we will have a bar graph showing the top ten products that has been sold. So traditional tea has sold the most, which was forty five. And on the right we will have a bar graph showing if the product is less than five. In quantity or if it is low stock so if you check the low stock under product inventory it will also so show here no matter if it's 10 or 15 